Hello Pokemon trainers, today we're going to be continuing the Let's Play Pokemon Glaze uh, Blind Run. So, last week in episode 1 we left off right outside Milkshake Swamp, so we're going to continue on. Um, just due to a little update, my team, let's see if I can find out, there we go. My team, uh, so far I just have Curtis, the Chimchar. I decided to go with Chimchar because I don't usually choose fire fighting types, but I want to try them out this time. Um, so I've, also, I've had some people say I should have chosen Jinx, oh sorry not Jinx, uh, Shinx, my bad, or um, the pre-evolution, or uh, real dude, that's it. But, I decided to go with Chimchar either way. Um, one second, I'm gonna be right back, the controls are off with this game right now. Okay, I'm back, so I just had to fix controls there, the um, hotkeys were off. For some reason I got reset since last time, but they're all good now. So, let's see, a little fast now. Okay, good. So let's go on into Milkshake Swamp. See what's in here. Okay. Rainy area, so it's not going to be good for my Chimmer Char because my fire attack's going to be uh, weakened. But, let's see what's in here. Crow Gunk, okay. I've used Crow Gunk before, wasn't actually too impressed with it. Uh, never got it to its evolution though. But I think I'm going to avoid using a Crow Gunk this time actually. Okay, let's try right. Ember. Hopefully it's strong enough to kill Krogan. Okay, it's not. And it's got much, uh, much left. Super effective, but it didn't actually do that much damage. Just really shows how strong Krogan is, or rather not strong. Much left is a weak attack, only has, I think, 20 attack power. But the fact that it's super effective should have done more damage than it did. Krogan has Ringing Dish, so it's gonna be healing. Hopefully one more Ember can kill it. And it did. Awesome. Okay, we have 59 experience. Awesome. I just want to um, thank last time I asked a question, episode 1, how to pronounce Rattatat. Um, or as I've been saying, it's been, I've been saying Rattatat all along. But uh, thank you to a friend who watched this video. Supposedly it's actually pronounced Rattata. So I'm going to have to correct that from now on. Okay, the 11 bug types. Basically, bug trainer. So even though it is raining in this forest or the, this uh, swamp, I guess I'm gonna be facing bug types, so it is gonna be good for my um, chimchar. Cause I got two times for oh, you scratch action. I've got uh, two times power for the super effectiveness, while I'm only losing 50% for the uh, fact that it's raining. So I'm still more and they're still more powerful than normal. Than normal. Yep, rain continues to fall. La da da. Okay. Use Ember this time. Let's not mess up again. And Caterpie Painted. Awesome. Level up to 9. Oh, and I learned Taunt. Taunt can be useful. Um, normally I delete it once I get a better move, but we'll have to see what moves Chimchari gets in this, or I guess Curtis gets in this uh, game. It's especially useful when uh, Pokemon using something like Protect, or really just raising their stats a lot. It just prevents them from doing stuff like that. You don't want to use it on a Pokemon that has strong attack though, and that usually uh, uses those strong attacks. Because you use Taunt, you waste your turn, and then they end up killing you in one or two turns. Not my bugs! Off my 96 Pokemon, I'll just put one in. Okay, continuing on. What's this? Whoa, what was that? Curtis was poisoned by the ivy. Oh shit. Ah, no, why am I poisoned? Okay, let's try and get back to a Pokemon Center. Am I gonna make it? Running fast. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, yes, yes. Okay, I made it. Let's just, out of curiosity, let's have no heal yet. Probably should get it out of Three. Oh god. Too close. Okay, so I gotta avoid those patches in the swamp. Obviously, they poison you. Kind of interesting. Normally in Pokemon games, the field doesn't actually poison you or burn or whatever. Um, so in this hack, there's obviously some differences there. I'm gonna have to pay more attention to where I'm walking. Okay, we're gonna field up, so continuing on our way. Okay, speed up a bit. Um, I had someone else comment how the sped up game music sounds a little weird when I'm using the sped up so I can when I'm using the uh, speed up so I can go faster. Uh, it does sound weird. I'm gonna lower the game volume in this game uh, compared to last episode. 
and increase the volume of my voice, so you won't be hearing game music as much, or rather as loudly. Um, but I'm not gonna be adding the speed up because it really well speeds things up, speeds things up throughout the game. So I get to do more in, in uh, one episode rather than just wasting a lot of time walking around. Otherwise, I'd be having like 50 episodes in this game compared to I don't know however many I'll end up having. Let's say 30, 35. Hopefully I don't have that many. For a first plus play, I'm hoping it's relatively short. Okay. Okay, we got a double battle, but... Can't do a double battle because I don't have one Pokemon right now, so I'm going to be facing one at a time. That's useful. So I'm going to stand your Caterpie. It's still raining. I'm just going to be using Ember. Actually, you know what? Let's change... Uh, uh, what did I use? There we go. I'm just going to change location of the attack, so I start with Umber, instead of having to move every single time. It's super effective. Ah. Got some experience from that. Metapod. Going. Metapods are so useless. Metapods and um, any sort of second evolution of the normal bug types, they only use Harden. So against a Pokemon like me, where I have a special attack, particularly a special attack that's super effective, I'm going to be really killing it. It's not gonna do any damage to me. I defeat Marcus. Woohoo! Oh, go with some mud! And there's a second battle. Come on, let's battle! It looks like a youngster. Yep, youngster James will like to battle. Time for Krogunk. Krogunk. Still raining. Da -da -da. Oh, let me scratch back. And I actually did some decent damage. And again, my swap's not gonna do much damage on me. Um, in later levels, I'm definitely going to have to watch out for other ground attacks like Earthquake and whatnot. So hopefully I can find a Pokemon that's, uh, that's super effective against ground types, like a Water, Grass, or uh, Ice type. Water and Grass are pretty easy to find, so I shouldn't have a problem with that. It's taking longer than I thought, but one more attack and it should be dead. There we go. I think that was his only Pokemon, so yes, it'd be Youngster James. I got money. I look at money. Hey. Okay. Man, there's a lot of wild Pokemon though. I just kinda wish I had repels. Like it's good training experience, but when you're only taking a few steps and then running into another wild Pokemon, it gets annoying. Especially with the same Pokemon over and over again. Getting a lot of crow gunks. Healing. Scratch and kill it. Okay, I'm just gonna do this up. Hopefully, I don't run into more wild Pokemon. There we go. Another trainer. Trainers. I, I wish I could, like, re battle trainers in this game. Actually, I think I might be able to. Um, one of my friends told me I could. So. Hopefully get more experience that way, instead of having to grind on wild Pokemon. Let's see, can I battle you? No. Okay, battle you. Like, first battle. This swamp is awesome! Oh, it's a Pichu. I love Pichu. Honestly, it looks so cute. <laughs> but unfortunately, it's so weak. It has like, I think 35 base special attack and even worse defenses. Of course, it can still be annoying with Thunder Wave. Now I'm paralyzed. I don't know if I'm going to paralyze heal in my bag. I'll have to check once I'm done this battle. Hopefully I pick some up from the Pokemon before I went into the swamp. Left a lot of baby Pokemon here. Using Encore. Uh, what moves do I think I used Ember last. Oh, either way I'm paralyzed. Ah, goddamn. Still paralyzed. That's actually something I don't use a lot, personally. Um, attacks that can paralyze the enemy. Like, if I had a choice between Stun Spore and uh, Sleep Powder or something like that, I typically choose Sleep Powder because I can switch into another Pokemon and if that other Pokemon has a buff, like um, Bulk Up or something, then it's really useful to just Bulk Up while the opponent is sleeping. But, oh, I'm almost done. Dead. Oh, I'm in love as well. I don't know if paying attention to that. Okay, I'm gonna use a potion then. Yeah, I tend not to use paralyzing moves. 
Um, I just don't find them as effective. Wait, what am I using? No, I don't want to use parallel. I want to use potion first. Um, but I might actually start to use paralyzed moves because when others use them against me, I tend to be paralyzed a lot. So I don't know if I have just bad luck or that's the way the move works. I'd be interested to see the actual statistics on uh, how often you're paralyzed, if there are any, or if it's completely random. Okay, he's using charm, so I'm gonna avoid physical attacks like scratch. Well, except for this turn, he only has like one HP left, so I'm just gonna use scratch. And it's still low. There we go. That takes away my love as well, so that's good. And another baby Pokemon, Pokey. Wow. It's actually taken a while to kill this baby Pokemon though, I thought it'd be really quick. Oh, Metronome, that's always a... Ah, uh, god. And I don't think I have any antidotes. And, uh... I don't think I'm going to make it back in time. I'll have to use a potion. So I'll make it back to the uh, Pokemon Center in time. Before I die. My defeat was crushing. Haha, I crushed it. Okay. Yeah, I'm poisoned. Okay. So, how much? Uh, let's go. No, 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 not big. Not big. Hold on. Okay, 13. I'll go through 13 plus 1, 2. Uh, wow, Pokemon. Don't need this right now. Okay, actually, I should be able to kill the Shroom if she wants to attack. So, I'm just gonna do that. Get some experience in the process. So, I won't be losing any uh, health and poison from that way. Okay, how much experience do I have? Oh, health do I have? Five? One, two, okay, I'm already poisoned, that doesn't matter. Two, three. Uh, I don't want to use a potion when I don't have to. Well, basically it only kills 20 HP, and I have a max of 36, so I might as well just use an LP save. They're waiting one more HP. Okay, and yeah, I didn't have any antidotes in there. Oh, Ekans. Hmm. I'm not really using Ekans. Um, I don't know, I'm not really a fan of poison types a lot, though. They're not the best type effectiveness. Uh, they're only super effective against grass, so... And there's a lot of types that other types are super effective against grass. Uh, they don't have a lot of strong moves. The best move is realistically toxic, which most Pokemon can learn either way. What is my health? Okay, I'm good. I'll be safe. But yeah, so poison types are only super effective against grass, and they're weak against um, psychic and ground, so ground's a pretty common type to see around. So that's why I typically don't get poison types. Personally, my favorite type is ground. Um, I did a mono type run with the ground type team in uh, Pokemon Floor Sky. Which I might do a like play after this one. After this let's play finishes. Oh, don't go there. It's poison. Yeah, that team was amazing. I had um Glide Score, which became my favorite well actually it was already my favorite Pokemon before I played that game and it became even more my favorite Pokemon. It's just beautiful. Okay, let's go here. Oh Miles, you came at just the right time. I suspect another grunt snuck back while our backs returned. Look up there by the tablet. He seems very suspicious. He must be up to no good. You want to see a member of the Elite for an action while? Sure, why not? Come with me then. Inventor, it's best we stay here where it's safe. That's right, because I have a Pokemon I'm stronger than you. Oh, I thought I ran you scum off with your tail between your legs. Foo foo foo. I snuck back here to get the information I was employed to find. Then you walked me back at headquarters like a hero. I've no time to play the Pokemon Legend now. So long, idiots. Oh, I just ran away. This tablet. Are you two all right? You scared off that guard and couldn't crop her, it seems. Wow, amazing. Hmm. I'm down here for now. It's getting nasty. Thank you, Blake and Miles, for assisting me. Please, take this. Pokecom. What's Pokecom do? Let's see. That Pokecom is a device from my own invention. It translates Pokemon speech into human speech. Whoa. And vice versa. Haha. <laughs> Text translate with Pokemon when it's played with its code. Ah, that's awesome! So I guess I can talk to Pokemon now. That's so weird. I wonder what Pokemon think. When we go into my home now, I'll be much happier there where I can work in peace. See you around, Miles! Awesome. 
Those things are amazing. Why are they here? Oh, oh, something's happening. Oh, I'm in the alternate universe again. Whoa, what happened? Oh, there's that guy. Oh, and he has a name. Hello, Luke. The one who brought you back to your room last time. As I predicted, you managed to slip through again. I'm caught in a rush, so I have to hold off explaining again. Would you mind helping me? I'm looking for a market that's wanted off. It's somewhere around here that I can't find anywhere. I appreciate it if you could. If you look around for me, if you find it, I'll explain what's happening as best I can. Mud kit, awesome. I wonder if I can catch it. I really love small food. I've done a, um, a one Pokemon. Like, I, I only had small food when I uh, played Sapphire once. Hello, Mud kit. And I ended up beating the Elite Four. He was killer. Only weakness to, uh, for a swamp for being groundwater type is grass. So, that's pretty useful. Just teach you a swamp for a nice beam and. Okay. It's hiding in the mud. Oh, it attacked. Okay, hopefully I'll be able to catch it then. I would not mind using a swamp or very good Pokemon. And then I have a fire type, so it's I'll be able to combat uh, swamp or it's only grass weakness. Okay, well, let's do scratch. This fire is not going to be very effective against it. It has my slap, but it's still not very effective against me. Well, super effective, but it doesn't do much damage against me. Okay, that's good enough. I'm going to catch. Try and catch it now. Uh, the ball. Oh, pull the ball. I remember for years when I was catching Pokemon, I would pull down the A button, or I'd like try and tap it rapidly sometimes, thinking that uh, it would increase my chance of catching it. Just some research on it, it doesn't do anything. You can just use the Pokeball and just not touch anything. Same chance. <laughs> um, but hey, it became kind of a big chore for me. Uh, yada yada, okay. Yes, I would like to give a nickname to Monka. Let's name, oh, her, okay. Let's name her, um, Alice. Alice the Market. I've got Curtis and Alice. Okay, so, uh... Hello, person. Luke. Wow, it's excellent work. The portal to the universe is working again. But you have to hurry before I check. I'm sorry, but there's no time to explain. Get there. Get wherever. Okay, awesome. Oh, okay. Cool. Another crow gun. Actually, you know what? I have an experience chair, so I can start using that on my, uh, my mud kit. Just train it up a bit. I think it was already level 10. Yeah, it's level 10. So let's get an experience chair. Uh, here to Alice. Okay. And, uh, hope I'm out of this swamp soon. I'm gonna wrap up the video in a minute. A minute or two, maybe. Let's hurry through this. This rain makes my bugs feel unstoppable. Okay, and we speed up here. Kakuna, I only want Pokemon, so this battle will go back quickly. And, uh, should be able to kill it with one ember. Yeah, there we go. It's super effective! Ha ha ha! And I level up to 14. Awesome. I wonder if I'm gonna evolve. It's either 14 or 16. Um. Awesome! Yes, Curtis is evolving! So Chimichar evolves into, uh, Monferno. Awesomeness. Got an evolved Pokemon before the first gym. I always love when that happens. I don't even know when the first gym is, actually. I'm assuming it's probably in the town right after this forest. That's typically where the first gym is. Yay! Your Curtis evolved into Monferno! Oh, and I'm- Ooh, Mock Punch. Awesome. I think it's a priority move. Um. Uh. Yeah, just strike first. Awesome. That was priority. Okay, let's replace. Um. No, it can't make kind of handy. Let's play Scratch. Because with Mock Punch, I at least get some stabs from that. So, instead of getting a 40 power, as it says on the description of Mock Punch, I'll get 60 power. As opposed to Scratch's 40 power. Okay, um, another bug type, and it looks like right up there, right, right up there, is a, uh, 
Let's get fit with horrors. Let's just beat this guy. He's got three. He's got Pineco. Pineco is uh, I think a bug rock type. Or maybe maybe some bug grass. Let's see. The bug grass and all. Critical hit and super effective. So yeah, must be a bug grass type. I wish they said uber effective when it's four times so. Oh, Butterfree, how that? Uh, no, I won't change. Because Monkey is not strong enough yet to battle at level 10 Butterfree. And this is Ember. Oh, didn't kill him one hit. Oh gosh. Okay, that's gonna hurt me. Because, yeah, Psych against Fighting type. But I live. Um, and there we go. So I've killed Butterfree. Okay. Got 101 points. Oh, and I'll oh, to level 11. Yay. And Metapod. Okay, I've got this. Okay, so that is the uh, second episode of Select Play for Pokemon Blaze on um, Blind Run. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys um, next time. I don't know when I'm releasing next episode. Right now, they're kind of sporadic. Um, maybe I'll get a sort of routine going soon. But, let's see. Yeah, okay, so Ocean View Park, so the next area, next town is probably just up here around somewhere. Anyways, um, I'm gonna end the episode here, and uh, take care. Peace.